This is Daddle, early in the morning, 6 o'clock. Okay, we got a uh, Hampton. He's got a place under a tree at the store. And we are headed for uh, Magdalena because it's going to be a long day for me, so I'm going to move the family first. And uh, then we're going to... Then I'm going to hitchhike back and get Hampton. And uh, it'll be a long day, man, because I've got to do grocery shopping and everything and get everybody taken care of and situated, and then I'll come back. Daddle seems like a pretty nice place. People in the store are really friendly. And old Jimbo ain't there. There's no nutcases from wherever. Wow, look at this view. We're headed down to the Augustine Plains. You want to see a long road, man? <laughs> That is a long road. 36 miles to Magdalena. Yeah, it's going to be a hot day too, I bet. Normally I ride out first and uh, do it one time with the horse and then go back and uh, there's a reason for that because you come out here and you look at this road and you go, oh, I got to ride across that, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's like 20 miles to the other hill. There's our early morning rider. Don't got Hampton, but she got a saddle. Yeah. Yeah, she The uh, CVL, it's like a listening station for listening into space is out here on the right hand side. We'll get there in a minute. And it says the VLA rest site, two miles. Okay, so maybe we'll pull over and take a look. What do you guys think? The big ears? Yeah, monster ears. Monster ears, huh? Listen. Listen for what? For monster up in us, um, in the moon. For listen for monsters on the moon, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they can listen for anything and they can also take pictures. They can look really far and take pictures of stars and stuff like that. Yeah. So this is the first Aka, I think, probably. Well, maybe Ward's been here, but uh, not very often that the Aka get to the BLA. Very large array. Here's our smallest paratrooper headed for the bus. National Radio Astronomy Observatory, very large array, VLA, very large array. Dedicated 1980, has been used for more than 10,000 astronomical observing projects. Open from 8.30 until sunset. So uh, we're coming in here, take a few minutes to come in here and see this very large array so the kids can understand a little bit more what this is about. You don't normally get this in your uh, homeschooling class, a visit to the very large array. So it's a great opportunity for kids, for everybody. Okay, we're going to go look at this stuff a bit, these big ears. What do you think guys? Let's see if there's a movie plan. They've got very interesting displays here about the galaxies and about the very large array. What's that? That's in um, Puerto Rico, a really big one. And they put it in a James Bond movie. It's the same thing, but it's a really big one on the ground. Hoti kome ho yo hudzat, ho do yo tizat, sinyamala. It's okay, so they're doing a little experiment with what two dishes work like here. So you, galamala, you, you here? <laughs> uh, 
Look at the baby swallows. Hmm? They're almost grown up. I bet you they can fly in a couple days. What do you think? <laughs> Swallow. Now, no, Aka Ikan, Hilati Kome. They're the same as the ones in the Aka houses. Really beautiful birds. So, this is the Aka from Panum Ka, northern Thailand, at the very large array near uh, Battle, New Mexico. How are those for ears? Let's go take a look. Come on. Okay, we're gonna go look at this. Uh, this is really big, man. And this is working, you can hear it working. See our bus way over there? And here's the tune-up shop. And now the thing is moving. Must have heard it's coming. Look at that. It says U.S. government property, no trespassing, no parking within 50 feet. So it's moving again. It seems to be the only one. Maybe it's just set up for tourists to watch it. What do you think, guys? Those big ears or what? Very good. Very good, huh? Big. Really big, huh? The e -cop. Cheese, huh? Cheese. Pretty big, man. It's moving now. I think this is just one to have move for, for people to see it move because all the others are staying stationary. They're busy working on something, you know? They have a truck that lifts these up and moves them to the next station. It's pretty interesting. A lot of work. So what do you guys think? Had a good time, huh? It's moving again. See, that's what it does when they want to move it. Really big thing to be moving. Well, it's goodbye to the very large array. Okay, we're headed down the road here in a couple of miles to Magdalena. It's a beautiful spot. They used to have cattle drives down to Magdalena all the way from Arizona, Snowflake and Payson, or Snowflake and St. John's and uh, Springerville. And they drove it all the way down the road to Magdalena and put it on the rails, but the railroad pulled that rail. So 1976 was the last time they did that. But anyway, it's a pretty beautiful spot with mountain shadows and clouds. Okay, it's back to good times and eating watermelon. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. D? Belly is uh, Belly's the biscuit guy. He's baking biscuits. Uh, the bus is in Magdalena, and I'm hitching by, back to 
get Hampton and Daddle. So it's noon anyway. Yeah, it's probably one in the afternoon and we're getting a late start for Magdalena, but it's a nice straight road, a nice wide fence, and I can walk it in the dark if I gotta. There's the post office. Well, we got 35 miles to go, and the nice thing is that I can see where the bus is parked, basically. It's way over there in the mountain on the left side. It's 20 miles across that valley. You get up on the hill and over to Magdalena, it's another 16. So, there you be. We never really took a picture of a telephone pole, but this one is just sort of like cursed against the heat and the time and the blue sky and clouds and doing its job every day. This is the plain of St. Augustine, and we're riding towards the big ears, Hampton and I. It's very different when you're riding. I mean, it's not bad, or just very different. Sometimes Hampton follows me, and sometimes he likes to hang back and dilly-dally, have something to eat, being the great chow hound that he is. This is the lodge of like a prairie dog or something like a desert beaver, man. They build these big... It says, buckle your seat belt and keep it buckled in loving memory of Stacy Tanner. April 6, 1972 to April 5, 1998. She died just before her birthday. Jackrabbits here, there goes one. A lot of antelope too, just saw a couple uh, females over there with a young one. They ran over the hill, over there by those cows. Quite the view and quite the beautiful day. Great display of uh, this very large array they call it. Moved around on these rickety railroad tracks and uh, but this is what they get some great images of the uh, black holes and different galaxies with there's uh, five antelope right there and one guy across the road a big male across the road over here chased down the road quite a ways. Hampton's pretty excited about this. What do you think, boy? That was pretty funny. You're getting all worked up about a few antelope. There he goes. So this antelope digs a hole and then he squats and poops in it. This is Hampton. Plains of San Augustine. And a very large array. So they got a engine that comes down these tracks, straddling across both of them, and it goes and makes a right hand turn and goes in underneath these listening uh, dishes and lifts them up off their three piers and then takes them down anywhere a couple miles down this the tracks here way down there and sets them where they want them uh, to get a different kind of uh, picture up into the, into the sky into space depending on what it is they're looking at or trying to get a wide shot or a focus shot so it's pretty interesting and they got a garage over there for rebuilding them or cleaning them or something but it's uh, quite the project well we're about halfway across the valley now Another 10 miles to the top up there, and then another 12 miles or so into Magdalena. There's a big uh, hawk of some type, or a raven. Yeah, it looks like it's a raven, big crow. 
I'm just suspicious, but this hole looks sort of flat like a horned toad dug it. I'll take a look. Well, we crossed that whole valley, Hampton. We're almost to the hills on the other side, not bad. Here we have a rattler. That's the first one I've seen in a long time. He don't look real happy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't want to go up near him. He's in a bad mood, man. There he is. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, there he is. Well, we went all evening across the plain of Big Ears. And then we came up in the mountains and we crossed the mountains and we're coming down into Magdalena. You may be able to see the lights there right in the center and boy that looks good. But we still have several miles to go to get there. Long day. Okay, uh, I'm back in uh, town. What's the name of this town? Um, Madalena or something. Um, but gonna have some watermelon. 36 miles, man. Long way, half of it in the dark. Try some watermelon. Hampton gave him some alfalfa and uh, could eat something and go to bed. Give him a bucket of water. I always see him out. Uh, 